Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. This is the episode when I finally defeat this boss. Let's do it. First attempt. Such a good attempt. God. It's hard to predict exactly when those little magic dots are going to come. I really, I have yet to figure out exactly how to tell when they're going to actually shoot at you. I know they only shoot at you when you're close to them, and it seems like generally when it attacks, it's when it shoots them out. I don't know. I have no idea how it works. I think the best thing that can happen, really, in the first stage of the fight is if it never uses the heal spell, and also if it goes into mage mode and stays in mage mode, because it's so much easier to do damage to it, and so much easier to avoid its attacks when it's in mage mode.
I wonder how speedrunners take on this boss. They probably fight it with some sort of overpowered magic spell with a red tearstone ring at one hit point while completely naked or something. Oh, you asshole. Going into the second stage with seven Estus, not bad.
my fucking god, I think I just did it. Please tell me he doesn't have a third phase. Praise the sleep. Man, that armor with that background looks really cool. Well, that seems rather final. I think that might be the very end of the game. Let's do it. Alright, that is the end of Dark Souls 3. Might be the hardest boss that I've ever fought in Dark Souls 2 or 3. I can't remember what's the one I got stuck on the most in Dark Souls 2. It might have been the DLC bosses in Dark Souls 2. Like, I remember I had a lot of trouble with the dragon that destroyed your equipment. But I don't remember. I think I'm, I don't think I've ever taken five episodes to defeat a boss. That was crazy difficult, but that also makes it crazy satisfying to finally defeat it. Um, I don't remember how Dark Souls works with the end of the game. I'm pretty sure it allows you to come back and do the whole New Game Plus thing. Um, and I'm really curious what I can soul transfuse using the soul of the Lord of Cinder. So I'm going to let the credits play out, and I will be back in a few minutes.
Begin Journey 2 and Current State. Journey 2 can be initiated from the Shrine Bonfire if you do not wish to begin now. Let's say no then if I can just begin it later. Hmm, I have more hit points. I guess because I lit the fire. I wonder if I permanently have an ember status. You know, more health now or something. Or if that's only temporary until I die. But anyway. Um, heck, let's see if there's any new dialogue from the... from her. Passion one, link the fire. I already did. Link. Ashen one. Alright, let's go see what I can soul transpose with this soul. It's gotta be something really cool, I would imagine. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't this person... No, they... died. Does that mean you can never soul transpose another weapon? Oh. No, his, his, um, his hack of, like, his pile of ashes can transpose weapons for me. Sweet! <laughs> and that's how you write yourselves out of a corner, folks character died? Doesn't matter. Okay, so... Let's see. Wait a minute, I didn't see it. Soul of the Lords. Is that the soul? Yeah, that is it, I think. Yeah. Soul of the Lords. There's one other, I think. There it is. Firelink Greatsword. It's a greatsword, of course. Um, ah, requires both types of uh, mage stats. Faith and whatever the other one is. 
definitely not a sword for me. The Lords of Cinder linked the first flame, and this greatsword was wielded by their... Deific Manifestation. This coiled sword, found thrust in the bonfire, existed long before the Throneless Lords themselves. I'm gonna hold this thing in my hand. What is this item? Skull ring. Easier to be detected by enemies. Um, why would you want that? One of Corling's transposed wonders, derived from the soul of a soul feeder. The soul feeder was a beast that insatiably absorbed souls to feed its own power. Even after its accursed corpse was burned, it is said that the pungent stench of souls left the air permanently stained. So it sounds like the sort of ring you want to wear if you want every single enemy in the vicinity to come to you and you just want to kill everything? I don't get it. Whoa, look at my equipment load. Did something happen after defeating the boss? Like, aside from having more hit points, it looks like I've consumed an ember. My equipment load now, the max is 63, which is freaking ridiculously high. I don't know if that's a New Game Plus thing or just an effect of an ember that I never noticed. I don't know. Anyway, let's use the sword. Beautiful. Those are the quick attacks. Here's a strong attack. And special. Which of course doesn't actually do any sort of magic stuff, probably because I don't have any of the correct stats for it. Or something, however that works. All right, well, that is the end of Dark Souls. So I hope you enjoyed joining me on my long journey. I really freaking enjoyed it. I think it was better than Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 I really enjoyed, but I do think Dark Souls 3 is a bit better. I enjoyed it more. Um, and as for the DLCs for this game, currently there's already one DLC that's been released. I don't know if I'm going to play them. I'm kind of in a, a money-saving mode right now where I really don't want to spend much of anything. Uh, that combined with the fact that I've heard the DLC isn't all that amazing. It's supposed to be pretty good, but nothing great. Nothing as great as the Dark Souls 2 DLCs. Um, I've heard it's... I think it's about $15, and I've heard that it only gives you maybe about two or three hours of, of stuff to do. Of single-player stuff to do. And then there's the multiplayer stuff that it adds, but I have absolutely no interest in multiplayer things. So... I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about it. So I'm not sure if I'm actually going to play it, but I can say that if I do play it, and if I do play more of Dark Souls 3, either New Game Plus or a DLC or something like that, um, chances are I would want to switch up my character and do something different. Just like I'm, I'm pretty sure I did that for the for at least some of the DLCs. At least one of the DLCs in Dark Souls 2. I, I know I switched my weapons to the dual sabers or scimitars or dual, dual something. And, um, yeah, if I do play more Dark Souls 3, I'll most likely do something similar. I'm not sure about dual wielding, but, um, I definitely won't switch to a mage, but I might switch to trying to parry, which is something that I've just never really done. And I kind of want to get better at it. So if I do ever come back to Dark Souls 3, DLC, or otherwise, I'll probably switch up my character, do something different, but for now, this is the end of my journey, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.